We're just gonna go to Goku. All right, we already went over their fucking Naruto section. All right. Let's go to fucking Goku now. Okay. Wall level. Sure. I think he'd be more like building level though. Because like when he uh, when he fights Yamcha, Yamcha launches him through those four pillars and that's like wall level. But then the there's like a fucking large structure that like falls on top of Goku that's like a building sized. So I don't know. I would say he's above wall level personally. That's fine. Large building level, who gives a shit? Although, I don't know, large building level, didn't he destroy, didn't he beat up Grandpa Gohan? Didn't Uzaru Goku take out Grandpa Gohan? Killed Grandpa Gohan. Who's large building level, okay. That's consistent at least. Post Red Ribbon Army Saga, who defeated Tao Pai Pai. Tao Pai Pai is large building level too? Okay. Sure. So basically everyone's large building level. Wait. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. 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 No! Ah! My eyes! No! Ah! Ah! Fuck! No! Ah! Ah! God, I'm cringe. Ah! This is a good count. This is fine. <laughs> bro. <laughs> City level King Piccolo, bro. City level King Piccolo. Oh my god, dude. Are we still denying moon level Roshi? Hold on. Is this because of Roshi? Roshi. Roshi Naruto? No, what the fuck? Master. Roshi. Okay. Wall level. What? City level? Moon level trained in secret. And increase his power to fight Frieza soldiers? Frieza soldiers are moon level? What? Wait, 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 wait. Am I retarded? What? Hold on. What is the... Destroyed the moon with a single blast. Dude, I've seen so many calcs of the fucking moon level feet. I've seen people say this shit was large planet level before. I shit you not, I've seen large planet level shit on this before. So we got moon level moon bust. Cool. Okay. Seems weird. They think... Okay. <laughs> Hold on. They think, they think that cutting the moon in half in Naruto is moon plus. Like, can I, hold on. Hold on. Let's just, let's go over this real quick, okay? So they have splitting the moon in half. By the way, this moon is hollow. It's a hollow moon. It's only the crust, okay? They think cutting the crust of the moon is moon plus. 
okay? Moon plus to cut the crust of a hollow moon, okay? But vaporizing, vaporizing a moon in seconds and the debris flying to Earth at almost light speed is moon level. I just want you to think about that a little bit. Like, do you think you have to be a calc god to do that? Do you have to be a calc god to understand, hmm, that's kind of weird. <laughs> that's a little strange. I don't know. Also, something you'll notice, they took off the calc for destroying the moon. There's no calc for it anymore. Where did it go? Where did the it was why did they take the calc off? That's weird. They took the calc off. So, I think now we can understand, hmm, now this is why they think that King Piccolo and Master Roshi are city level. So, here's the problem with this bullshit, man. Master Roshi being city level is fucking dumb, okay? Because every single guidebook says Master Roshi possesses the power to destroy the moon. Even in early Dragon Ball. Even in early Dragon Ball, Master Roshi possesses the power to destroy the moon, okay? Any guide will tell you that. Any guide, alright? It also says Master Roshi went alive, was the strongest at the time, but this is before King Piccolo and Kami came back to life, okay? Any fucking guide, and not only fuck the guide, fuck the guide, he did it on screen! He destroyed the fucking thing on screen! He literally fucking did it! <laughs> I can't... I can't make it up! He did it! <laughs> he fucking did it! So... <laughs> so, when they say shit like, Oh, it's an outlier! I'm like, an outlier to what? What? You mean Piccolo? After, like, barely getting stronger, apparently, after the fucking time skip from part one, can vaporize the moon while waited? He's just like, BE GONE! And he just blows it the fuck up, like, is that the outlier? Him just, BE GONE! <laughs> like, I don't, I don't get it, like, he didn't even charge up and attack, BE GONE! <laughs> like, I, I don't know. And it's like, okay, it's just weird, man. And we know, okay, we know that despite Roshi being stated to be a moon buster and all the guides, we also know that King Piccolo scales above Roshi. Roshi says nothing he could do could ever be King Piccolo. I think King Piccolo is also stated stronger than Roshi in the guides. And then I think it's because, like, there's, like, one statement that says that King Piccolo has an attack that looks, like, as strong as a nuclear bomb because it can blow up a city. Which, sure, it probably is, has the destructive force of a nuclear bomb. But we also know that he scales to fucking moon level regardless, alright? So maybe his AoE is as strong as a nuclear bomb. But we know he quite clearly scales above that, a nuclear bomb, because quite he literally just slaps his hand around and vaporizes a fucking city all the time. He says, I'm going to destroy 1 43rd of the world every single day on this day or something like that. Enjoy your lives, right? Like, it, I don't know. It's just weird. King Piccolo also said he was going to fuck up the whole planet. Also, here's another thing. Did you know Kami... Kami, who's weaker, Kami, who is weaker than Goku, apparently this Goku here, this Goku right here, he's weaker than this Goku, remade the entire fucking moon without the Dragon Balls. He just made it. He just made the fucking moon. He just made the fucking moon. That's it. He just made the damn thing. Also, did you know that everything the Dragon Balls does is within Kami's power? Anything. If the Dragon Balls make a planet, Kami is planet level. Period. If the Dragon Balls can make a moon, 
Kami is moon level. Period. It cannot do anything outside of Kami's power. So, is small country level Goku, who even fatigued Piccolo, who can barely move? Dude, I shit you not, dude. I shit you fucking not. Goku in this fight is on the ground. He's like, oh, don't, don't do it, Piccolo. Oh, like his fucking, his chest is bleeding. It's like <laughs> squirting everywhere. He can't fucking move. He can't move. Okay, he's laying on the fucking ground. He can't move. And Piccolo says, don't come any closer. And he slaps his hand on the ground. All the Z fighters are like, oh, this includes Kami. Oh, and he's like, I'll fuck you up even now. Okay, this is because Goku is the only one who could be Piccolo even now. Goku then flies out of the air while the blood is like <laughs> squirting out of his chest. Headbutts Piccolo and one shots him. The same guy who scales above Kami who can create an entire fucking moon. Kami who cr can create the whole fucking moon. Cannot come up to Piccolo and be like, stay back. But Goku, <laughs> who can't even walk, can. But Goku is small country level. <laughs> like, come on, man. And then in the next arc, where Goku barely does any notable training, Piccolo says, be gone. And Black just vaporizes the fucking moon. Like, I... <laughs> I can't even make it up, dude. <laughs> Be gone. I'm even... Yo, it's funny you say that, Phoebe, because I'm actually doing the pose while I'm doing it. Be gone. <laughs> and then some people would be like, oh, well, the Dragon Balls aren't creation feats. Anything within Kami's power. If Kami has enough energy to create a moon with his fucking key, how the fuck is he city level? How is he small country level? What? You guys, because, hold on. And before you guys like, well, creation is not destruction, said the programmer. Well, what about the fucking, hold on. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. I'm done with y'all. Moon level. Moved the moon. Provided Sasuke and Naruto the ability to create the moon. Moon plus. Why isn't Kami moon plus? Why is Kami not Moon Plus? Creation is not destruction. Shut up, bitch. Shut up. Motherfucker. I'm, I need some water. Alright. <laughs> I'm back. That was only part one. That was part one. Yo, thank you for the sub gift. Really appreciate you. This is gonna be a chill stream. I got too upset. My fucking... <laughs> my throat hurts. <coughs> that was only Dragon Ball. <laughs> do I have to fucking... Do I have to go over all of them? Do I have to talk about all the Gokus? <laughs> yes. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> okay, I fucking will, I will. Yeah. Alright, where's Goku? Moon level. The motherfucker went from small country level to moon, barely doing anything. <clears throat> Bruh, he sat on his ass? His, his power level went from like 330 to like 334 with weights. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like, I want you guys to think about this, okay? I want you guys to think about this, please. Just think about it. For the love of God, think about it. How does Goku scale to Kami? Who created the moon, which would be moon plus by this website's logic. Moon? Moon level? Okay, thank you. Probably planet level, because motherfucker probably make a fucking planet with those damn things. But I'm not going to assume that. But, moon level, Kami. Okay. How well, you know what? Give me a percentage. How strong do you think Goku in the 23rd Budokai is 
compared to Kami? Write your answers down below. So you guys have like, oh, Goku's twice as strong, three times as strong. Wrong. Wrong. You are fucking dumb. You are stupid. Let me show you something. Let me show you something real quick. I'm going to put this on the screen. Let me put this on the fucking screen. I want to show you one fucking thing. Dude, my computer's freaking the fuck out, by the way. Wait, what is that? <laughs> what are those? Go away. What is that? Image, add source. I want to show you guys something. Do you guys see this Goku here? Do you see that one? That Goku there. What's that? Who's that? Do you guys see the picture on the screen? Whoa. Wow. That's a weird picture. Do you know what that picture is? That's Goku getting crippled. Goku is getting so crippled that he can't even fucking move. But guess what? That Goku who is so fucking crippled that he can barely move is stronger than Kami. Whoa! That Goku right there is stronger than Kami. Did you know that? That's crazy. And guess what? Let me let me write something out. King Piccolo. King Piccolo. Power level 260. Official. Official power 260. Okay? Goku with weights. 334. Okay? So, Goku is anywhere between 260 and 334 in power level here. Okay, but did you know that Kami is so strong that he can flick away King Piccolo? He can flick King Piccolo. Flick. He, he literally flicks Goku away. The same Goku beat up, he flicks him. Whoa. Whoa. So Kami's in between there too. Flick, he can flick him. So, wait a minute. You also have Goku, who's so crippled he can't even move, is above Kami. Weird. So, you have a you have a character who's so strong he can flick a power level of 260, and then you have a character who's so strong while he can barely move, uh can beat that motherfucker up no problem in one hit actually Goku would one shot Kami even like that. Both in between a power level of 260 and 334. So, how strong is Budokai 23rd Goku? Is he a power level of 300? Is he a power level of 310? Is he 290? No! Wrong! You want to know how strong Goku is in the 23rd Budokai? His power level reaches 910! Wait! Seth! How is that possible? What? A power level of 910? Where's that at? Wh what? I'll show you. Let me show you real quick. Let me show you always real quick what I'm talking about. Hold on. Let me show you Goku's power level of 910. By the way, don't mind my computer. It's wild. What's this? What's this weird image? Whoa! 
Whoa! What? What the hell? Whoa! Uh, whoa! What the fuck is that? What is that? Boys, what is that? Let me show you. Let me tell you something. So, Kami. Hold on. I know. I know. I know what you're saying. This Kami right here that says 220 is Dragon Ball Z Kami when he's almost going to die of old age. So, Kami and Dragon Ball Z, who is aging, has a 220 power level. Okay? Let me show you something. So, this is Dragon Ball Z Kami with 220. As you can see, here's Mr. Popo. Mr. Popo is weaker than Kami, but he has a power level of 1,030. Okay? You, do you know why Popo has a power level of 1,030? Because he trained with the Z Fighters. Because Mr. Popo trained during the Saiyan, during the Saiyan time skip. Okay? That's why Popo has a power level of 1,030. Okay? Even though Popo is weaker than Kami. So Kami got weaker. Kami got weaker. Popo got stronger. Right? But did you know that Kami can still create the fucking moon? Weird. Kami could create the moon with a power level of 220? Weird. That's weaker than... But wait a minute. Is it King Piccolo City level? I th what? Uh, but he's city level. What? City level? Doesn't make no sense. But guess what? Let me tell you something else. Hey, boys. Look at Goku's power level. Goku has a power level of 910 versus King Piccolo. Well, versus Piccolo Jr. Okay. 23rd Budokai wasn't Z. No one said it was. No one said it was. Who said it was? What? Who said it was? What are you talking about? This is Kami after Z. Well, this is Kami after Dragon Ball Part 1. This is why Popo has a power level of, 10, of 1,030. Because it's after Part 1. Okay? But this Goku here... This Goku is Budokai 23. Okay? Budokai 23 Goku has a power level of 910. But did you know that Goku versus Raditz at max power has a power level of 924? What? Wait, really? Goku power level Raditz manga. Let's see if we can find it. Let's see if we can fucking find a picture of this one. Let me show you guys real quick. I'm educating you today about some a basic concept in Dragon Ball. Okay? By the way, it's almost like I've been power scaling Dragon Ball my whole life. Whoa, what what is this? Hold on. What is what is this? What's What is this number? What is Raditz saying? What Raditz, what uh, Raditz, what is that number? Wh whoa! 924. What is that? That's a weird number. What does that mean? Guess what? Guess what? It's almost like Goku really didn't get that much stronger from part one to part two. It's almost like the... Oh, did you know Goku in part one's actually small country level? He's small country level, but did you know... Uh, Goku in part in part two is actually moon level with a 14 power level difference 14 power level Small country to moon apparently Wait, how do I get rid of this fucking thing go away? Okay, it's gone All right, I made my point right whatever It's not that big of a difference. It's not that big of a fucking difference, dude. And for those of you saying, oh, no, uh, that, that's Kami part one. Kami's just weaker than King Piccolo. For one, if he is, that just means King, King Piccolo's moon level on their side, right? Basically, Kami just flicks Goku away. That's it. That's his full power. Also, Goku tries to use his full power against Popo and gets shit on, even though Popo says Kami's stronger than him. So, it's just bullshit. 
Anyone that watches Dragon Ball will tell you that. Anybody. It's basic shit. It's basic. Also, I don't know how to stop the fucking highlighting thing. For a power level of 14 brings you from small country to moon level. Anyway, we can, uh... We can go back to the website. Sorry. I got carried away. Okay. <sighs> Alright. I'm done with part one. Okay? I'm done with part one. Planet level with Kaioken. Overpowered Vegeta with Kaioken times three. And blah, blah, blah. Sure. Whatever. At least planet level. Sure. Whatever. Higher with Kaioken. Surpass Ginyu. Whatever. Po Dwarf star level. Whatever. Sure. Small star level. Wait. Small star level plus is a Super Saiyan. Match Frieza's full power and ultimately defeated him. I've seen some weird calcs for Frieza, so I'm not going to say anything. But sure. Whatever. <clears throat> Small star level plus. Star level is a super saiyan. Uh, I don't know how we're going from small star level to star level. Uh, star level. At least large star level. As a full power super saiyan. Large star level. That's fine. Sure. Um, you might want to calc it though. Because um, master super saiyan Goku should be relative to the Supreme Kai. And the Supreme Kai can make like all the stars in the universe. So he should probably be that level. Uh, bot against perfect cell star level as a full power super saiyan threatened to kill shin no eh. wrong 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 so dumb very bad wait there oh there's an anime section so they're not using the anime at all Okay, so this is what we got to get mad at. Apparently, this is just some bullshit. <laughs> Apparently, this is just some bullshit. This is just manga only? I don't know. I guess that makes sense if they want to make an anime section. We'll talk about the anime. Solar System level is a Super Saiyan 2 and 3. Uh, Spirit of Cell Saga Gohan is Super Saiyan 2. This is still probably not correct. Even just using Boo, because Boo was going to ravage the whole universe very quickly. So him being solar system level is weird. But if you want to... I've even seen some people say he's fucking universal, even in the manga. But, yeah, sure. I mean, if you want to use the manga only, maybe solar system makes more sense. But, yeah, it's a little bit weird. Faster than light. Let's go. Hell yeah, dude. Faster than light. Based. Not much faster than light, though, which is weird. Considering like all the considering boo is gonna annihilate the universe. It just seems weird. It's such a weird argument. But we'll drop that. That's manga only. So this is anime only. Anime only. Here it is. Large planet level. This is the moon calc. Okay, so this is the moon calc on the anime section, which is now large planet level. Okay. Sure. Sure. 14 plus power level, by the way. Um, dwarf star level should not be a fire who destroys several planets. Based. Actually based. Uh, dwarf star level. Turn the piccolo. Small star level. Wait. Wait, it, can, it includes Turles? Wait, what the fuck? What? Wait, what? Turles? Tarless? What? Bro? The fuck? What? What's he doing there, bro? This isn't movie Goku, though. It just says DBZ anime. Why is Tarless there? This is just the anime. The... The... The movies are their own dimension of power entirely. The movies have their own scaling than the anime. What? Turles shouldn't be in there. Come on, take him out. Take the movies out. Get the movies out. Put the if you're gonna make fucking 30 sections, make a fucking Dragon Ball movie section, okay? That's actually confirmed to be its own shit. Make movie section. Easy. Also, if we're using the anime, Garlic Jr., who can apparently make fucking black holes is should be in there probably and he kind of made a black hole like here 
You might want to talk about that. All right, that's debatable, but probably should talk about it. All right. <laughs> Based on these nuts, bro. Hold on. Yo, small star level. Okay. Large star level. Okay. Large star level in the anime. Solar system level with the 20 times Kaioken. Oh, shit. Solar system level in the Namek Saga. Let's go. This is what I was talking about before. Surpasses Frieza at his strongest. Punched away. Punched away a death ball. Yeah, yeah. That's good. I don't know why he needed all this. We, we get it. We understand. Uh, solar system level higher with Super Saiyan. Took attacks from Metal Cooler. Wait, if we're using Meta Cooler, he has like infinite speed. Meta Cooler? Remember when Meta Cooler could catch someone mid instant transmission? Meta Cooler? Get him out! Out! Why would you put Meta Cooler in here? Get him the fuck out! That's infinite speed! Get him out! Erase that! Get him out! Get him the fuck out of there! What are you doing? To destroy one who is significantly stronger, Thunder Percent freezes his fist form, blah blah blah. Thought of a super super and should should approach the power of Super Saiyan Teen Brawly? No! 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 What the fuck? No! Hell no, dude! Brawly! Like I okay. <laughs> Broly? Look, I know you guys hate the whole Broly thing, but bro, the amount of times that Broly is stated to be the strongest in the movies is fucking insane. It's stated like 30 times. I can't even make it up. Like, dude, there was a new interview, a new interview. Hold on. New interview. I think it was in fucking Geekdom's video. This was a new thing in 2019, okay? Koyama, Koyama didn't write, well, he didn't watch the new fucking uh, super or whatever, right? So, you have this fucking thing. Hold on. Let me show you. Look at this. That's what he fucking says, bro. That's what he says right there. I can't make it up. That's what he says in 2019. 2019. <laughs> the strongest. So, and when you say something like, Ah, oh, yeah, you know, he should be, uh, he should be, like, fucking, uh, you know, Team Super Saiyan Broly level. No! No! He shouldn't! <laughs> no! Team Super Saiyan Broly probably scales to fucking more like Gogeta, which... Woo! If you if y'all want to debate, donate, donate to debate me on that. But it might scale to Gogeta, unironically. Um, so you know, I'm just saying, you know, it's uh, <laughs> a little bit weird, you know. So Teen Super Saiyan Broly, probably not, dude. Not happening. Okay. Um. Where, 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 where the fuck was I? Where was I? Oh, here. Okay. Solar system, multi-solar system. Then, ugh. No. 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 <laughs> no. No, dude. Okay, so there's many errors with this. This is all movie scaling. Which, for one, fuck movie scaling. Shut up, bitch. Fuck your movie scaling. You suck. You're a garbage. Fuck your movie scaling, okay? Stop fucking coming into my turf, all right? For one. 
But for two, you know, in the anime, you got fucking, like, Boo on, like, gonna fucking erase the fucking universe. Uh, you have Kid Boo about to destroy, you know, like, the Grand Kai planet, which is, like, visible from heaven, which is, like, a universe and shit. Like, come on, man. Like, <laughs> there's some bullshit with there. There's, like, base Goku can fucking fuck up Cell or something using, like, the Pycon filler. But using this bullshit quickly destroyed sections of the southern galaxy the southern galaxy is one-fourth of the universe the southern galaxy which was considered destroyed is one-fourth of the universe one-fourth of the universe <laughs> do you know the difference between solar systems and a galaxy <laughs> You are not destroying one-fourth of the universe in 30 years when you are multi-solar system level as a Saiyan. It's not happening. You're either multi-galaxy or this didn't happen. <laughs> there is no in-between. You are multi-galaxy or this did not happen. <laughs> okay? Like, you cannot, you cannot say that. The, the fucking southern galaxy is one-fourth the universe. Period. <clears throat> anyway. Multi-solar system. Higher with Super Saiyan forms. As of the Buu Saga, uh, Kid Buu, who gradually obliterated entire galaxies. You mean like what Broly did? Except Broly did it on steroids. Galaxy Plus is a Super Saiyan 3. Shook the afterlife. Broly should scale to that. Broly scales to this. It's already been confirmed numerous times. Broly scales to that. His battle with Kid Buu was stated to have caused excessive damage to the sacred world of the Kais. Multi-galaxy level with Dragon Fist. Instantly damaged Hyrudegarn. Okay, no. That's... Okay, no, 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 no. Hyrudegarn is weaker than Janemba. Hyrudegarn is weaker than Janemba. It's actually stated that Hyrudegarn is weaker than Janemba. I can't even make that up. Superior to the anime version to all scale to... Okay. Overwhelm the anime versions. At least... Okay, it just says yeah, they scale to that. But, um... Wait, what? Can possibly create dimensional rifts and destroy space-time and pocket dimensions with his energy via power scaling. What power scaling? Power scaling to whom? Who does Hyrudegarn scale to? Who? Who? Who does he scale to? I don't know who he fucking scales to. Movie Goku? The movie Goku that we don't know how he scales to the other versions? That Goku? How does that Goku scale? Buon? Super Boo? Bullshit. We don't know if he scales like that at all. But basically, yeah, Goku should not be multi-galaxy level for destroying Hyrudegarn if he's not multi-galaxy level here. If he's not multi-galaxy level there, he's not multi-galaxy level here. Janemba is stronger than Hyrudegarn. I'll actually get you guys the statement right now. Hold on. So this right here literally says that Janemba is stronger than Hyrudegarn. So, uh, it's just weird to put it like that. Are we reading Dragon Ball Super? <laughs> Do I have to read Dragon Ball Super? Their fucking... Their fucking <laughs> Dragon Ball Z section was boring. Fuck that. This is stupid and weird. Yes? Okay. Man said squiggle squiggle. What did I... What? I can't read weave. Uh, okay, okay. Do you read the Borto manga? I did on stream, yeah. Adult Naruto versus Kaguya? Okay. Uh, maybe so, yes. Everything? <laughs> okay. Buck. Buck, buck. Okay. Sure. Um. Where is the Dragon Ball Super section? Here? There's a manga section too, apparently. So. Not to jerk myself off or anything. Not to jerk myself off or anything. Not to jerk myself off or anything. But you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> you are welcome. <laughs> like, you are fucking welcome. 
<laughs> you are actually welcome. All right. So, uh, the thing about this is that at first versus Wiki wasn't accepting um, Universal Goku. It was like considered like it was considered a lot of bullshit arguments for a long time. But, but, um, someone, someone from the site actually took my arguments and got into a debate with them. I think it was, I think their name was D or something. I don't remember. Someone random. They took my arguments and actually just debated them all. And then they turned it to universal level. <laughs> so, you're welcome. Now, they need to put my fucking movie scaling on this stupid fucking site. Alright? Put my movie scaling on it. So easy, so fucking bare bones. But this seems about right, right? I've heard some people say that this should be multi-universal. Is there, hold on. Tiering system. What is their tier, do they have multi-universal? Multiverse, low multiverse. Uh. I feel like low multiverse makes more sense, doesn't it? No, wait. Then infinitely sized 3D expanse. Okay. Oh, uh, I mean, it depends how you debate how big the uh, Dragon Ball universe is, I guess. Yeah, I guess it depends. They don't have like low, low multiversal on here. Well, they do, but they don't have like multi-universal. Sorry. It's not considered a thing. Because some people think it's like higher than 4D or it's like universal plus because like Goku's punch travels between universal time spaces. So it should be universal plus because of the, the space between the realms is like unquantifiably great. It's uh, it's weird. But yeah, I don't think there's anything wrong with this part, right? Am I stupid? Let's read it. Okay, this is the feat. Much stronger, unlocking Super Saiyan Blue. Capable of enhancing his strength tenfold. Compared to Vegeta at this time. What? Who's comparable? Future Trunks Saga? Sure. Whatever. Managed to dominate Super Saiyan Rose, Goku Black. Stalemated a stronger hit with the Super Saiyan Blue without using Kaioken. Also can't, capable of maintaining Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken times 20. Did he use Kaioken times 20 in the Black Arc? Oh, Universal Survival Saga. Okay, my bad. It's like a split. It's like half and half. Uh, Universal Level Plus. Shook the whole world to void. Something back. Uh, interface. And that's superior to Infinite Zamasu. Yep, yep. You're welcome. Um, Universal. Universal Level Plus. Super Saiyan Blue. And I should, it, it, he should all be Universal Plus. Even in base form, he should be Universal Plus. Like... It's just universal, like the, the Super Saiyan forms at this point are linear. They're not like infinite increases. He, he's universal plus in base. Um, and I, and after defeating Ani Raza, what do they have him at? Universe level, sure. Uh. So plus fought Jiren with full power. That didn't seem too bad. Their super section seems okay. Their super section doesn't seem too bad. I'm okay with that. Who cares? Doesn't... So chat... Doesn't Goku from the Dragon Ball Super manga have anime references? Do you guys remember? Doesn't he have anime references? So I don't know. I think I think adding some Toei feats might be good. Wait, what's Khalifla say? Let me see that. Universe level. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? Is she supposed to be Universal Plus? I mean, she could be Universal Plus if you think base Goku is. What's the problem? What? What am I missing? Say to be stronger than Cabin Super Saiyan? Yeah. Deflected the Eraser Cannon from Super Saiyan 2? Yeah. 
Um, tournament power, she casually defeated in the power Super Saiyan Goku. And then fought Super Saiyan 2. Super Saiyan 2 Goku was suppressed, but... Later, she helped kill the counter of the my being the three charge. What's wrong with that? What'd she do? She scales to Goku. Super Saiyan 2 Goku was holding back on her, but later on, when he, he fought her in base form, he wasn't. Base Goku went all out. No reason why you'd hold it back there. He was fatigued, sure, but we, we know how he scales anyway. You could say that God Goku held back significantly. Um, but yeah, they should probably be stronger than base Goku, which is still universe level. So I don't see the problem with that at all. Um, capable of shaking the universe as well as eventually destroying it. However, the exact time frame is unknown. So this is something interesting I hear all the time. Uh, but the problem is, is that in the manga, it's implied to be faster so, let me show you guys this one. In the manga, it's implied to be faster. Let's see. Goku shakes the universe. In the manga, it's very fast. In the manga, it's pretty much instantaneous. Turn off your computer. I have to after this, dude. My computer is a fucking lawnmower, dude. I wasn't supposed to stream this long anyway. I was supposed to stream for like two minutes. But basically, the whole universal thing in the manga is just literally at the speed of light. Like, it's implied no new developments in their fight happened. Nothing crazy happened. And then the fucking death waves come to their planet so fast. Whereas in the, in the anime, in the anime, it's like implied to be like over time. So it's probably faster in the manga, if anything. I think most people would actually agree with that. Like... In the, in the manga, it's an actual shockwave. And the point of this is that the whole narrative that Toriyama is trying to construct is, yes, these foes, the God of Destruction is a force that can destroy even the universe. Goku is now rivaling the God of Destruction. Therefore, their battle should probably threaten to destroy the universe, right? That's the basic fucking <laughs> logic, you know, in the fucking fight, right? That's all that's happening. So when they draw it, there's like show a shockwave. They, they'll, their punches can destroy the whole universe. That's it. That's all they wrote. All he said is their their punches clashing could destroy the universe. That was it. Okay? And they wanted to show that. So they did it with a quick fucking bzzz everywhere. Alright? There's no... There's no other bullshit. The, the bullshit in the anime with the waves. Like, everyone's like, oh my god. I feel kind of weird. And it's like these slow waves going like three miles per hour. And some people like, oh, they like fall down or something. Like... That's anime shit to make it so that they can, like, buy more time. But in the manga, they're not trying to buy time for the anime, you know, to have, like, a full run time. So they just fucking BAM! The universe is gonna fucking blow up pretty much, right? There's only one, there's two panels before it travels a multi-universal distance to the Supreme Kai world, right? So, uh, multi-galaxy, multi-galaxy. Uh, capable of contending with Jiren, who is stronger than God of Destruction, Universe Level Belmont, Universe 7. Actually, I think they're going to destroy Universe 6 and 7. Universe 6 and 7. Not just Universe 11 or Universe 7. Both, I think. Which is actually insane, by the way. So they're going to destroy both universes and then, like, it was going to travel the space between them, apparently. So that's insane. Massively ma faster than the light? Sure. Whatever. Especially in the manga. In the manga, especially. Okay. Next. Dragon Ball GT. Yo, what's good, gamers? Thank you for the subscription, buddy. Really appreciate you. Alright, so this one's gonna be fucking annoying. Alright, I'm back. I got a coffee, too. Because we're gonna be streaming for a little bit longer than I thought. So, fuck. I didn't think I was actually gonna go over, like, every section of this fucking bullshit. So... Kura the Artist with the 67 cent donation. Appreciate you, buddy. What kind of coffee? It's a peppermint mocha because I'm a female. <laughs> uh, Biggie has used 100 bits. Bellsprout beats Arceus. 
Yo, thank you for the bits, dude. Young Wheezy has used four bits. Thanks for the four bits. <laughs> I don't I don't even know. Isn't four bits like four pennies? <laughs> Thanks for the four pennies, man. It all adds up, I promise. <laughs> Bro, I'm a... <laughs> Yo, okay, look, 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 look what the fuck, what's with the coffee roast, man? chill, chill, I didn't come here to get bullied, man, okay, wait, I have to open my fucking phone, I need to get a second monitor, man, I'm such a fucking noob at this, alright, yo, thanks for the subscription, by the way, Millie, appreciate you, yo, gamers, how many subs is that? Yo, thanks for the five gifted subs. You're a fucking king, bro. Let's go. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, dude. Appreciate you. True gamer. Facts. Now that's a real one. All right, so let's look what they got for uh, GT Goku. GT Goku can fight against Ub and General Rildo, who gradually destroyed a galaxy in the anime and scales to Goku's feat of shaking the afterlife. No. Wrong. No. No. There's like, there's like two arguments. So, okay, let me, let me run this down, okay? So, Koyama, Koyama made the movies, okay? Koyama made the fucking movies, right? And he said, yes, Broly is stronger than anything in the anime, and then recently, we got confirmation that the anime includes Dragon Ball GT. Okay? So you'd be like, oh, he's saying that Broly can even beat up GT. However, however, we also know that Koyama is not, he's, he literally says he's not interested in projects that he does not a part of. So he doesn't know. So, we actually don't know if the movies scale to the to GT at all. And if they do, the movie movies might be stronger, if anything. So, if the movies and GT are connected, then the movies are probably stronger. And they're still probably their own timelines. Because the movies don't even, like, connect to themselves. Let alone consistently within one universe like this website's trying to it's trying to say that the anime and the movies are one thing it's it's not the movies is a third thing you have the manga the anime and then the movies that's it which by the way the movies can scale to both the manga and the anime it's not even particular so uh it's a weird statement very weird statement i don't i don't think it works uh multi-galaxy level of super saiyans by real dough multi-galaxy level Shook Hell, uh, higher with Super Saiyan transformations after the Baby Saga, he becomes so much stronger. Surpassed Ub as a Super Saiyan and fought even with Super Seventeen. True. Uh, multi Galaxy level Dragon Fist. Why? Okay, punch through Super Seventeen, dealing serious damage. I mean, it fucking it killed him, but punching through Super Seventeen. That's when Super Seventeen was like. He was weakened, so it wasn't full power Super 17 that he punched through. That's stupid. Um, universe level with the Universal Spirit Bomb. Completely destroyed Omega Shenron. Oh, okay. Wait, multi-galaxy level during the Baby Saga. Wait, what? Wait. Wait my, what? Why did it go to Omega Shenron? Then, what? 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 Why? <laughs> why? <laughs> why is it listed like? What the fuck? <laughs> it's not even in order. Okay, so apparently this is not in order. Okay, not in order. Multi galaxy during the boot baby saga. He's blah 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 stronger than before. Multi galaxy after breaking his limits, he managed to fight Toto -to and Shenron. Universal level dragon fist severely harm. <sighs> Why? But, but then, um, but, 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 okay, sure, okay, 
Uh, universe level would Dragon Fist severely harm the Omega Shenron, although it's combined with a 10 times Kamehameha. Okay, so why is Omega Shenron universal? I've heard this argument before, I think. <clears throat> Stated to be 10 times pressing more stronger than before, is at least equal in power to Black Smoke Shenron, who immediately started the galaxy surrounding his home world upon his birth. Uh, we don't know how fast it was, but sure. And his attack bonus should scale from his own durability with the mouse. He can quickly gather the entire combined minus energy of the evil dragons and the dragon ball and heavily condense it into one sphere of energy. Just destroy the entire universe, including the entire universe. That's a, I've heard this argument before, and it makes sense. I've heard some people say that, like, when it, like, hits something, it, like, creates more, per se. So, like, you know, if you have, like, a, it's like when you, when you put negative energy on a planet, the energy, like, accumulates and, like, taints stuff. And then the tainted stuff would create more negative stuff, if that makes sense. So that's another way to look at it that wouldn't be necessarily universal but i believe that smoke the black smoke shenron is actually stated universal in a guide so it's not even that bad that makes sense sure whatever it's a little bit funky but xeno goku let's go taint <laughs> yeah taint multiverse level plus it was overpowering and defeated demigra makio was stated to cause the collapse of the db multiverse in the real world so this one here is really debatable. So some people think that multiverse, because you have the Dragon Ball Heroes multiverse, and then you have the real world. So the real world views the Dragon Ball multiverse as fiction. So some people think that if this was fifth dimensional, the real world would be like sixth dimensional. You know what I'm saying? Um, and some people even think it goes higher than that. So that's uh, that's something you have to consider. I've heard the argument before, um, but that's something to consider. Massively faster than light? Uh, that seems kind of weird. I think there might be actually some stuff of um, Goku and stuff traveling through time on their own merits, like with their own speeds, but that might be a demigra thing. Massively faster than light seems really weird for a multiversal being, by the way. Like, can you destroy a multiverse when you're only FTL? <laughs> can you destroy a multiverse when you're FTL? Like, I don't, I don't know about that one, man. Like, uh, <laughs> that one seems a little bit funky. Like, it's just weird. Like, you make this blast and it's like, it will destroy the multiverse in uh, infinite squared time. <laughs> like, it, it seems weird. Dragon Ball Evolution. Small country level. I've actually never really scaled this. Small small country. Ooh, okay. So King Piccolo in Dragon Ball Evolution scales to real Piccolo on Versus Wiki. Let's go. Why? Evolution scales to... Scales to the real Piccolo. This site's not loading. Not secure. I'm not watching. Oh, this is fucking ugh. Naruto forums. Lol. Supersonic. Dodged a gunshot from Bulma and faster than before. Okay. Well, hopefully you guys will leave me alone with that one. 